scientist, a researcher here at the Otto Heart Institute, and also a professor at, in the Department of Biochemistry, Microbiology, and Immunology. So my research studies really how inflammation is a main cause of heart disease. So inflammation is something that is normally very good for our bodies, of course, but we study how it can actually damage the heart or the blood vessels in response to things like cholesterol and high blood pressure and diabetes and all of the things that we know cause heart disease. So EDI, um, to me, is something that needs to be incorporated in order to make research environments inclusive. And I, of course, that's obvious. That's part of the name of EDI. But I want research and research labs and research training to be a place where everyone wants to be and where everyone feels comfortable. I think that the experience that we have, um, especially when we're training, can really entirely influence what happens next in our lives in a good way or in a bad way. And so to me, EDI means we need to feel comfortable in ourselves and our complete selves um, while in, in, our, in our research training or research environment. But also we need to see ourselves there. We need to see people like us, people who are, you know, that look like us, that, that maybe identify like us, or that just, you know, we, we, share, we share some common, um, common themes. We need to see those people leading and involved and directing and you know making contributions and changing research to me that is what edi means and where we need to go and make sure that research is a place where everyone wants to be